Good morning everybody, DC here. Uh, today we've got uh, a new coil. We've got a new coil here, this one, which is a scaffold tube again, with magnets at the end, and a very, a very simple coil of copper wire wrapped round, short, it's about uh, 12 inches long in old money, and uh, the scaffold tube again has got the magnets at, at each end, north, south, north, south. And uh, I've made a, a, an interesting discovery this morning uh, that this wire, which is connected to the power supply, which is set at about 11.6, uh, this wire is bouncing. It, it is free to, to move, but you can see it bouncing, uh, which is quite, uh, this phenomenon, it, it interests me what's happening in the ether. And it's sort of showing me what's happening in the ether. And if you also notice today if you notice that at slow speeds the fluorescent tube is quite bright whereas if I turn the speed up on um, on the machine here which is if you remember from my last video it's just a DC motor with a contact make contact breaker you'll see that the the fluorescent tube is quite brighter so um, we'll just have a little play this morning I'm going to switch it on um, just for those that are interested in the schematics the schematics, the wire that's bouncing from, from right to left or left to right, we've got a positive wire here from the, the, the power supply and it's this wire here, this positive wire that's bouncing, it's near the tube so it's very interesting what's happened. Okay I'll switch on and then uh, we'll have a little look. I hope you can see this wire bouncing. It's a little clue what's going going on in the ether. It's bouncing away all by itself. And if we turn the light out, the tube is, is quite bright. So it's obviously at this this uh, um, low setting, it's obviously pulling or affecting the ether far more. That I'm going to just try and turn the the speed rotation up. I find this very interesting, how it's bouncing around. And the brightness of the tube increases, and that wire bounces up and down as well. I'm going to put the light back on. And that's the latest finding that the findings of me. DC today that that wire is bouncing and I'm just wondering what's causing that that bounce so any thoughts from anybody about that obviously the, the, the that red wire is being energized uh, it's obviously got its own flux around it but it's, it's showing what's happening near these magnets which are, does interest me okay that's it for today and tomorrow I'll probably be back on the other coil and looking at that uh, outputs while we're on um, it's going to be difficult for me to show you this but I'm going to try uh, I'll put that there maybe okay excuse the video at the moment <coughs> so if we we take it from the clean clean earth here which uh, one wire one wire of the sensor of the meter is connected to the uh, coil here just a short coil is connected there the other probe is off the clean earth so I'm looking at the clean earth now I'm sorry it's difficult to show you this but I hope you can see that that's from a clean earth it's going up to about 25 volts down to about 19 or something like that We've got that, that wire that's bouncing around. 
So it's very interesting what's happening today, folks. You can see that's bouncing around, so it's getting a bit of back feed off that as well. So it's showing that's showing me stuff that is. Um, I'm just going to tr try the probe to the false earth. This is this is a negative, but it's a, it, it is negative nevertheless. It's going up to 40 now on that one. Very interesting. But what is interesting is that bounce there on that. Okay, folks. DC signing out. Thank you. And goodbye.